Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is going to be part two, analyzing uh, Jasmine's perspective. This is Jasmine here over on TikTok. Now, I talked about her in one of my previous videos about a week ago or so, uh, basically about her, you know, using the term mulatto and the significance of it, the importance of it. Her being, you know, 21 years old, a young uh, Generation Z, and also with her kind of massive following you can see in social media. She also has a pretty large following on uh, Instagram as well. So she's making the rounds, okay? So she's all over the place on the interwebs, right? Um, but she's self-proclaimed mulata. So I shared with you guys one of the first clips um, of her basically saying that she's a mulata. And then I looked, I kind of reviewed some of the comments. There was a lot of comments, I believe over 3,000. But I reviewed a few of them. And I basically noted that it was primarily black women who were gaslighting her for using the term mulatto or mulatto yeah uh I, the correction would be mulata because she's a woman but nevertheless mulatto um so in this clip i'm going to share here this is obviously her tiktok page and the clip i'm going to share here um is going to be um her defense of the word right because obviously overwhelmingly you saw with the black women in her comment section who are basically like why would you call yourself a mulatto and they're like you know basically gaslighting her right because they don't want her to identify independently from them right they want her to identify with them so they can use her and pick on her at their convenience right because they can't pull that with anyone else um but a lot of mulatta women unfortunately in america they fall in line lockstep with the social justice warrior narrative and ideology and so they feel kind of obligated to cape uh, for the communita, right? So we can just kind of look at the title. And she's replying to someone's, uh, one of the comments from her video, right? Saying, she really said mulatto crying. I think I kind of reviewed that one in the last video. It says, all love you guys. Let's remember that there is better ways to use your energy than worrying about something so insignificant, right? She has about 548 comments on this one. So I'm going to play the clip first so we can hear her speak. And then I'm going to look at some of the comments. But like I said, the last clip uh, video that she uploaded, she had over 3,000 comments. That's a lot. Um, and she's reviewing, obviously, one of the comments from that clip. So let me play the video and then I'll come back with my commentary. All right, you guys, the TikTok keyboard warriors have attacked my page today, but you know what? I have time as well. Yes, I did use the word mulatto to describe myself because mulatto is the original word to describe mixed black and white people. Yes, I do understand that there's a history behind the word, but you know, I don't see you attacking your favorite rappers for using the N-word. And last time I checked, it's 2023, and marginalized groups of people are allowed to use words that used to be derogatory towards them. So, what's the problem? <laughs> all right. All right, so we're back. So I'm pretty sure you guys all heard that. And the way she basically explained her position was excellent. You know, I agree with everything that she said. It was so perfectly stated, right? And she highlighted the major point where it's like the same people in her comment section who are crying and complaining about her using the term mulatto, specifically the black women on her channel, those are the same people who will go to a Lil Wayne concert or a Da Baby concert or even a Greg the Stallion concert. They'll, they'll listen to all their favorite rappers use the N-word and talk about what they talk about, and that's not an issue for them. They're okay with that, right? They're okay with all their rappers using all the nasty language, referring to women as bees, using the N-word. They're okay with that, but they're not okay with a mulatto person identifying themselves as a mulatto. See, the hypocrisy with the communita is out of this world. So it's our job here with the mulatto media to point that out. So in another note on that, like she stated, which I really appreciate for her using her platform and using making a video to explain her position was that, you know, throughout history, you can see that with blacks, right? A lot of these blacks, they basically the N word was supposed to be a bad word, a negative word, but they turned it around and they made it into something good where they call each other the N word. Right. And they're proud about it. And they make songs and dance about calling themselves the N word. Right. They even have a song, you know, Kanye West called Niggas in Paris, right? And they're proud of that. Um, 
So they took a word that's historically bad and now they they proclaim it to be themselves, uh, you know, call themselves that. Right. Just like you have the group, the niggas with attitude. Right. So it's interesting. But then what's to say we can't do the same thing? So I always tell that to the detractors, especially pro wax or anyone else who wants to come over in my channel and say, you shouldn't use the word mulatto. It means you're a mule. It's like, well, that's fine. I mean, you can keep using your you can keep calling yourself the N word. Go do that over there. Um, and over here, I'm going to identify myself and others like me as a mulatto. So we're taking a word that's supposedly bad and we're making it into a positive thing. That's my position now. So we're going to exercise that same liberty. And uh, hopefully I can encourage a lot of you other mulattoes listening to me to do the same. Basically use that as your kind of defense, as your argument, so to speak, because we got to combat the foolishness and the hypocrisy that we see. Uh, mainly from the community who's, you know, basically in this position where they feel like this lady and a lot of us, most of us, that we should be subordinates trying to get acceptance, right? Um, you don't need the acceptance once you have your own community. That's something I'm trying to get people to uh, understand. So that's a major thing. So I really like her energy here. I like the way she presents the arguments. Let's check out a few of the comments. I'm not going to get into all of them, like I said. Um, but I am going to, um, look at some of them cause she's got about 500 and the other video, there was like 3000 It's crazy. So it says here, proud mulata here. Welcome to the pretty girls club. And it's okay. Period. Interesting. Don't worry us. Other proud mulatas. We're defending you like crazy. We have your back. That's true. And I'm here. I'm one of them. And of course, another dusty queen says champagne says girl please and it says girl please you know you're jealous that's why you wear that long weave yeah blonde weave european hair because you want to be mixed too of course that's why she says girl let me see some other comments that's funny unlike the rest of y'all brainwashed colorist ass individuals you a colorist you know you don't like my european weave i don't view my hair or any other aspect of my culture as flaw duh flawed duh so i guess a little uh grammar would help interesting okay now let's move on so it says um i don't know why but you remind me of aj lee for some reason i thought you meant the half white half black interesting i thought you were latina well a lot of us people think we are uh let for me latino for her latina sure um say so uh, you are the most cool, calm, collective girl on the app. I think it part of your success and appeal for sure. I thought you were Puerto Rican or South American. Yeah. Mulatto stick together. That's what's up. Sir Williamson. Okay. Let's see what it says. Mixed people are black. Did them existing make you mad? Let's see what he looks like. It's a private account, but he has a picture of your mom is hot or not. That's the, the DJ. I forgot the cat. I think it's Mac Miller. So Jordan, I don't know if it's, it could be a black guy or a, a, bl a black woman. Cause I know the divesters, a lot of the, the Queens, they really like that. The, the white guy, a Mac Miller mixed people are black. Well, we're partially, we're mixed, but we're partially white. Doesn't mean we're white. So if we're not white, how the hell are we just black by default? It doesn't work that way. We're mulatto authentically. And the thing is what a lot of you people, this guy here, they're going to have to come to terms with is that we, oh, it has flags, right? Oh, he's responding to one of the, I don't know. I don't really use this app that much, but if I find discussions like this, I'm going to kind of uh, analyze it and give my observation. But like I said, what people like this character who says mixed people are just black, they're going to have to, in the future, they're going to realize that that's not going to be the, uh, the status quo. A lot of us younger people were pushing back. This lady here the in the video, she's 10 years younger than me. So I'm a decade older than her. And, um, you know, so like, yeah, that's just, you know, this is the future. It's the future. We're coming into our own now. I really would like to hear someone's opinion on her N word reference because it's a good point. No one's answering that. General, of course, no one's because they're gaslighting her. They don't want to come up with the truth. All these black people who call each other the N word, it's a bad word, but they come to you and say mulatto's bad. It's because they don't want you to identify being a mulatto. They want you to serve their ass as a mule so they can use you and you can fight for acceptance. Once you look at them and smile like, I, I no, I don't need to be accepted by your little clique. Then you find out they have an issue. Are you going to team up with the white supremacists? Oh, are you a problem now? So 
Well, deal with it. We have answered you. Just continue and delete comments and block people who are trying to educate you. Embarrassing. Do you not understand why blacks use the N-word? I am black, but thank you answering a question with the question. The N-word is a re reclaimed derogatory word and racist didn't ans uh, always use E-R. Interesting. Right. Girl, what? Anyways, you're not even mixed. Why are you offended? Yeah, because she wants to control your ass. Girl, what? It's a black, probably. Of course it is. <laughs> you know? Of course, the only people who have an issue with the word mulat or black or their uh, LGBT people, literally the only people that I see so far, um, not just on this app in this video, uh, but just on the interwebs all over the place. I'm like, how, you know, on Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. I'm like the only people because they don't want you to identify independently from them. Um, so like she said, you're not even mixed. Why the hell do you care? Like I said, anyways, and laughing, of course. And you notice how she got more likes than the, the woman of the video, of course, because mostly blacks using the app, you know, uh, dancing around, begging for white acceptance. So and of course, you being mulatto, the fusion half white. Um, yeah, they really need you so they can get proximity, closer proximity to their massa. Right. So that's why they're really hell bent on this situation. They don't want you to identify independently from them. And six other people did, too, babes. Interesting. Um, thought you ate. It's crazy how many people get offended for mixed people using their own slurs. I don't think you count. However, 12 is not a lot. 23. Just dumb crap here. Um, how would you know she's not mixed? Yeah, she's black and more black, so I guess she's mixed, right? A mulatto is a person with one white parent and one black parent. You learn this in history. And it says, you know, um, notice how it's only that group of you uh, know who's that's making a big deal out of it. Of course, literally a whole lot of not mixed people. That's the thing. The only people who have an issue, like I said, <laughs> are mainly black women. OK, I'm calling a spade a spade If black men. If there's a position and I like I said, the whole seat of your father, that's pushed by the black supremacist within the religious realm. They're the ones who push the whole you're the seat of your father. Right. And I tell them, OK, well, what about Bob Marley? Oh, no, 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 no. See, they always break the rules. They got they pick and choose which mulattoes they want to claim to make themselves look good or the ones they want to use to benefit them. And I'm telling them, nope, not as long as I'm here. So, yeah, the people who have an issue with it, of course, are black women here. The thing black people hate the most is someone lighter than them. <laughs> Should I like the comment? But it's it's very uh, accurate. Right. The jealousy you see it's I'm in America. So I don't know. I can't speak for any other demographic of black people because I've been to an all black nation, uh, Ghana and very all pretty much everyone's dark skin, you know, in my black family here in America, they're all dark skinned. But the thing is in West Africa and Ghana, where I went, you could see in their faces that they were proud of who they were. They are, they're proud of their culture. They have a, a rich history, right. And in, in Ghana. And so, um, like, I just didn't feel like there was this jealousy. They might look at you like you're exotic, you're light skin, you might have more money or something, but, um, there's a, there, in America, it's, it's this jealousy and envy. Right. If you're a mulatto, you're lighter skin versus in Africa. I didn't see that. Um, so the energy is different. Definitely the energy some of these people have. It's sad. Most mixed people have experienced this. Yeah, for sure. I have. Yep. I bet you don't know what your natural hair looks like. What? This is my natural hair. No heat or nothing. Jealous much? Of course she's jealous. She's got to wear a fucking wig. What does she look like? I don't know. Um, there's no such thing as mixed. You are what your father is. And I, didn't I tell you guys like clockwork? Didn't I tell you guys there's no such thing as mixed in some pro whack uh, black supremacist? You know, you see he's yeah black supremacist uh, religious. Like I told you guys, they come from the religious realm and it's the men. I got to highlight that because I talked about black women. Now I'm talking about the men. OK, these are the religious black supremacists, the men who push that seat to your father. And of course, they're going to deny your identity of you being mixed. No such thing as mixed. No such thing as mulatto. You're the seat of your father. So I tell this black supremacist guy, what about Bob Marley? He'll he's already going to he's going to make something up. 
I on Facebook, I had this discussion and this guy was like, well, Bob Marley is a chocolate covered white man. I mean, that's how stupid a lot of them. They're trying to fool me. I'm not going to sit around unless I'm getting paid to entertain all the foolish babble with a lot of the pro wax. So you got to bring logic and common sense and decency if you want to deal with me. If I'm not getting paid, I'm not dealing with it. You know, you the CDO father, you definitely put your hands in your back pockets. Yeah, I'm only going to read a few more of these guys. Like I said, over 500 uh, comments, but it's interesting. The dialogue here, you know, I could probably make a whole nother video just analyzing these comments and kind of dissecting it and giving you guys my mulatto male perspective. Right. OK, we heard you now go back to shaking that. Yeah, because um. <laughs> Thank you, because black people be out here claiming mulattoes as black because of their inferiority. That's what it is. That's what it is. They don't want to, you know, a gatekeep blackness because they, they don't like being black. So they want to like that one guy who's like, there's no such thing as mixed. You're the seed of your father. The reason why he does that, because he wants to be with other races of women and still claim to be pro black and all this stuff. And so then he'll try to brainwash the children to only identifying as being black, right? That's a very common strategy. We can see it now when we're talking about it. You can tell a lot by their comments. They are not happy with themselves. It's sad. I wish exactly. I can't help you. And I tell people, cause I get a lot of these type of blacks commenting on my YouTube videos. It's like, look, you can't hold on to the heels of mulattoes forever. I'm a, I'm a millennial, a younger dude. Look, I'm telling you, I started uploading videos on YouTube because I, I didn't want to try to fit into these, these black spaces. I was like, we need our own spaces, right? And we're not going to ask. We're demanding it. We're making it. And it's starting out small, but it's growing. And, um, and that's the whole thing. It's like, uh, I wish them well. And I, like I said, I tell them when they come into my comment section crying, you can't be a mulatto. It's a bad word. I'm like, look, you can't hold on to the heels of mulattoes forever. You're going to have to develop some type of self-esteem and confidence in yourself to be your own group and be proud of yourself. Because a lot of us, were we tried helping you guys, a lot of you pro-wax, but you wanted to push the Chancellor Williams conspiracy theories. You wanted to, you know, Tariq Fraud Dr. Umar Johnson, Irritated Genie. I've been watching a lot of you pro-wax the past several years, and I've been taking notes. And look, now, <laughs> you know, people are like, okay, see you later. We helped you, but, you know. You're not going to slap me in the face, spit in my face and expect me, not me, someone who has self-respect to sit there and entertain your rear end. So the laugh in the beginning, damn, she said she had time. OK, but you made points. I don't know why they are uh, attacking you. She kind of ate, uh, though. Y'all can't lie. I don't get why y'all mad because they don't like themselves. Let's see, because she's pretty. It's obvious, right? The fact that it's really one girl's only girls getting mad yeah black girls right like i said it's only black girls because they want to bully her they want to bully her and they only want her to choose being black and they want to put her they want her to cape for them like a kamala harris kind of prototype right they want her to be this ambiguous mulatta woman who's going to be down with the sisterhood and is going to cape for them and kiss their butt it's only one demographic here that's mad with her it's great because for me, I don't really get black women um, on, on the YouTube channel um, who's like complaining like that. It's mainly black men. Like I said, even on Facebook, they'll push the whole black supremacy. You know, you're the seat of your father type situation. So um, I get usually the men, but she's getting the women here. So I think it's an interesting uh, observation. You're a queen. OK, guys, I'm probably going to read two more and then uh, People are way too serious. One's words aren't used. I think that's about it. I love how you talk. That's it, guys. Yeah, there's a bunch of comments, like I said, um, over 500. The other video, she had over 3,000. Crazy. But then again, this lady um, has, look at the followers, 852, basically, 1,000 followers. Crazy. Almost a million. And I don't know with TikTok, they might end up banning this, uh, they might end up banning the app. But she she has an Instagram and her following's pretty big over there, too. So um, and she's a young woman, 21 years old. So she looks like she has a bright future. I'm just extremely happy that she identifies with being a mulatto and she's standing 10 toes. Right. She's not going to be all the shaming language, people trying to make a fuss about it. And she's like, I don't care. It is what it is. I love it. Beautiful thing. Something I promote. And yeah, guys, let's move forward until next time. Beautiful people. Sayonara.